Ladies and gentlemen, Rod Moore. What's up? What's up? All right. Most exciting moment of the day. Awesome. Yeah, totally. So we just had you out in Dallas, and it was great seeing you interact with the fans and everything. And one of the things that everybody seemed to react to with you was they said how genuinely nice you were, and how refreshing it was to see that you weren't psychotic and crazy like you were on the show. <laughs> yeah, right, totally. So I'm curious, like, do you get a lot of people now, especially because of that performance, they come up to you and they're like, "Oh wow, you're actually a really nice, level-headed guy." I do get that a lot. They're like, yeah, it's so funny. And they're like, you know, how do you, you know. How do you? How can you play someone so awful and so mean and all this? And I'm like, uh, it's called acting. <laughs> I'll just tell you. Like, it's like, just doing you know, my job. It's a, yeah, and it's like really fun too because I'm like the least confrontational person in the world. But they always and say, then to actually get a chance to be like kind of an asshole. It's yeah. pretty fun. Do you, you know? find that it like relieves like pent up anger playing this role or something? <laughs> Not, yeah, a little bit. Well, I don't know if it's like so much anger as it just it, it's just. Um, like again, it's just to be the one who like, you know, pushes people's buttons and is unapologetic about it. You know, it just like feels really good. You know, like I won't even take food back at a restaurant and it's all food. Back, you know what I mean? Like I'm like that in intense about it. But like, that's awesome. Yeah, but it's really yeah. It's so it's just it's just a blast. It's the best. How'd you come up with your own, no, no, go ahead. You come up with your own unique take on your character, given that there are so many iconic performances? I mean, I give all credit to Bruno Heller and to uh, Danny Cannon as well, and the rest of our writers. Like, they, it's it's really it's Bruno's vision, and, and it's just you know the fact that they you know saw something in me that I could you know that they chose me to like be the one who you know brings their words you know to the screen is just like such an honor and like yeah again I'm just giving the best things to say and like and you know and I just love not just the the way they you know approached uh, Penguin but the way they've approached all of the characters like just the fact that we are able to really delve into you know much in, the, much in the same vein that uh, Chris Nolan did, you know, it, to really like bring it to a real place and to delve into their psyches and like, you know, it's just, yeah, it's so fun. Like it's like to, to, to flesh out these characters as real people, it's just, yeah, it's amazing. What was the hardest part about bringing Penguin? Like, what was the hardest part for you? Maybe like the craziness or the anger or whatever? Uh, the hardest part for me, um, <laughs> honestly, it's the lip. <laughs> <laughs> so we like, it hurts after a while and then like yeah we just started back up shooting and I was like I was like whoa like at like a couple of hours you know doing the thing I was like I can't stop like I need like physical therapist or something yeah um, yeah so I'll say that what are you a fan what of Robin? what's that what are you a fan of what, 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 you fan of? what, what am I a fan of yeah. Walking Dead all the way yeah. Andy Lincoln it's my dog Melissa made me cry I'm cool I'm cool with it thanks Thank guys you.